Okay, so now we're getting ready to bake our brioche tete. And they've been proofing for about three hours, give or take, depending on how warm your room is. And we're gonna sort of just test them to see how proof they are. And you can see that my indentation on the side of the brioche tete holds. So they're definitely ready to go into the oven. And I'm going to make an egg wash and we wanna coat these with an egg wash before we bake them. So I'm gonna crack an egg. And then my favorite thing to do when I'm making egg wash is to use a very, very large pinch of salt. And that big pinch of salt helps to break down the protein in the egg and that helps to coat the baked good a little bit more evenly. And so I'm gonna whisk my egg really, really well. And then I'm gonna just gently coat the brioche very lightly with the egg wash. The egg wash browns in the oven and so it will create a very beautiful mahogany brown. It also cooks off and it creates a shiny coating on the surface of the brioche. Moistening the surface of the brioche also helps the brioche expand in the oven. And so now I'm gonna do the same thing with my brioche non-tear loaf. If you didn't put the egg wash on the brioche, what would happen is first the brioche wouldn't have that beautiful brown, golden, shiny color. And then the second thing that would happen is that the surface would dry out and as the bread continued to bake, it would crack open through the surface. And so this provides that moisture so that doesn't happen. So these are going into a 350 degree preheated oven and I'm going to set the timer for 10 minutes and then I'm going to rotate them and check on them. Okay, so our brioche tete have been in the oven for 20 minutes now and they're ready to come out. And they're a nice golden brown. We're gonna take them out of the oven and they should look like this. They should be a like really beautiful brown color and they should come out really easily out of the pan. And you wanna be very careful when you're touching bread right out of the oven because it's very hot. I'm gonna just do this really quickly so that they can cool down outside of the pan. Okay, so our non tear has been in the oven at 350 degrees for 25 minutes and it's ready to come out. You can see it's a beautiful golden brown color and we're just going to remove it like that. It's brown on the bottom, it's hollow when you tap it, and we're just going to let it cool down. So these are some ways to shape brioche.